Well, I, I was raised on a ranch uh, in New Mexico. My grandfather, uh, great-grandfather, homesteaded there. And he whittled this little cow for me and gave it to me on my eighth birthday. And this is from whence it all began. This okay. is not for sale. <laughs> I had to draw the line somewhere. One of the reasons all these flowers are here in music today is this is the type of environment they lived in, my home. This is kind of a farewell to them in a personal way from me to them. Uh, most cows are painted on the side because a cow proportionately uh, is difficult to paint. So they're all looking at you and you know, if you stand here long enough, you, you really kind of have an eerie feeling that they're trying to tell you something, feed me or get out of my way or we see you coming or something like that. Black Forest is uh, primarily from Germany and France and they're hand carved out of wood. And when you get up close and look at the intricate details, say of this cow, um, I mean, it is just amazing, the veins and the whole work. This piece here, we had a little child in it yesterday, and you can see how the horse moves his head. And it's a vintage carriage that has been uh, restored, but a wonderful piece, uh, about 1900. And this is an anatomical cow. And when you spread it apart, all of the different parts of the cow come out, so it was used by butchers to learn how to cut meat. I'm sure it's an old ancestor of mine somewhere along the way, a long time ago. I don't know if he collected cows or not, but I suspect he probably had one or two. There are purportedly 5,000 cows painted in this picture. Uh, I believe they're 5,000. I've gotten up to 2,000 myself, and I gave, gave up because there were so many heads there. Staffordshire was prevalent in England uh, about 1790 to 1900, and it was the pottery of the day, ceramic of the day, the porcelain of the day, and most of these are old, meaning over 100 years old, bull accompanied with the cow on the other side, is the only pair in the world like this. And they were made by Obadiah Sherat. Those who know about Staffordshire and Obadiah Sherat or Salvatate for these two pieces. Majolica was made in England, it was made in France, it was made in Portugal. But they had such beautiful sense of colors. For instance, if you lifted this lid and saw the inside, look at that. Uh, great color of pink. My house is empty now and uh, I'll find something around the corner I'm sure. <laughs>